Hey YouTube, this is Daniel Vanover, and welcome back for another Technology Tip of the Week. This week we want to look at some tricks using Google Slides. So, let me share my screen to you, and we'll get started with our five tricks and tips that you can use when creating and presenting a Google Slideshow. To start out, I'm going to create a blank Google Slideshow. Now to do this, I can either choose New and Google Slides, from within Google Drive, or I can go to slides.google.com and select from several templates that are available within Google Slides. I'm just going to create a blank Google Slide because my first tip in using Google Slides deals with the layout theme and transition of Google Slides. You'll notice that when I create the slideshow, Themes comes up on the right, and I can select from multiple themes that are available for Google Slides. I can also import a theme from a previously used Google Slide or upload a PowerPoint that has a theme built in and choose that theme. I'm going to click this theme, and you'll notice the theme for my slideshow has changed. It simply dresses up the slideshow a little bit, makes it look better. I can also click on a slide and click Layout, and it will change the layout of that particular slide. Whether I'd like to use the title slide, section header, the big number layout, main point layout, or simply make this a blank slide that I can manually import pictures and text and shapes into. We'll do title slide, and let's give this presentation a title. I'm going to insert in a few slides for us to work with. I can also change the transition effect of a particular slide by clicking the slide and choosing transition. I'll then select the transition that I would like to use. In this case, we'll do slide from the right. I can preview it by clicking the play button. I can also apply that transition to all slides by clicking apply to all slides. And now every slide will have that transition effect. Let's type some stuff into our second slide so we can move on to our second tip and that is inserting pictures. I can insert a picture by clicking on insert, image, and uploading the image that I'd like to use. Now I can also copy and paste images into my Google Slide, but Google Slides has a few tools in regard to inserting pictures that makes it a little bit above other slideshow softwares. For instance, I can insert a picture by URL. If I know the web address for a particular picture, I can paste that URL into this box and that image will then be inserted into my Google Slideshow. I can also go through my Google Photo Albums, my Google Drive, and I can search Google for stock images that have no copyright on them. To insert into my Google Slideshow. Let's say I want to insert a picture of a sunset. Type in sunset and click search. And now pictures of sunsets will be available for me to insert into my Google Slideshow. I can also choose what primary color I would like each picture to focus on. For instance, if I want pictures that primarily have red in them. I click red and pictures that are mostly red will show up. I can also choose blue and blue sunsets will appear. This is a really really neat tool. We're going to insert a red sunset into this slide. I can then resize that image and drag it around. 
The third really neat trick for Google Slides deals with that image in particular and how that image looks on the slide, and that is masking the image. I can crop the image by clicking on the crop button, and that will allow me to crop down the image so that only a portion of the image is shown. I can also crop the image based upon a particular shape or mask the image by using the drop down button beside the crop button and choose the shape that I'd like to use. If I would like this image to be cropped in the shape of a heart, I can do so. And now the image is cropped in the shape of a heart. I can change the crop by clicking on the drop down and choosing a different shape, for instance, an oval shape. This dresses up my slideshow just a little bit more, and it makes the images look really, really neat. The fourth really neat trick with Google Slides deals with how I present my Google Slideshow. In your typical slideshow software, you can present your slideshow in an extended window. Using the extended desktop, you would have what they call presenter view meaning your slideshow is being presented on one screen while notes, advancement controls, a timer are being shown on your primary screen. This still takes up both screens. You really can't work on two things at once when you're presenting using a standard software. Google Slides, however, has the ability to present in a new window. Clicking on the drop down button beside present, choose present in a new window, and a window with your presentation will pop up. You can resize this window. You can also drag this window to an extended desktop screen, resize it, and still be working on something on your primary screen. In your presentation, you can click the gear and choose Open Speaker Notes or simply tap the S key and Speaker Notes will appear. You can drag those Speaker Notes back to your main screen and control your slideshow while it's being presented on your extended screen. This is a really neat tool. It still gives you the presenter view that you would have in a standard presentation software. However, I can still work and do other things while my presentation is being shown on my extended screen. The fifth and final trick that I want to show you regarding Google Slides is how to embed your Google Slideshow in a website or blog post. Click on File and Publish to Web. And the Publish to Web box will pop up. You'll then want to select Embed, choose your settings for your slideshow, the size, the auto advancement, whether you'd like the slideshow to auto start and loop, and click publish. Google Drive will ask you, are you sure you want to publish this selection? Click OK. And now the HTML code for embedding your slideshow in a website or blog post will appear. You can copy it. and paste it into an HTML box on your website and your Google Slideshow will now be embedded with an auto advancement and auto start on your website. And those were five really cool tricks that you can use in any Google Slideshow. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And if you haven't already, subscribe below so you get updated on new videos. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Again, this is Daniel Vanover with your Technology Tip of the Week, five really cool tricks in Google Slides. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.